Oh, what a great day to be on my system and research at what screenshot. Yeah, I think I need to talk about this, don't I? So, yeah, I know I've made a lot of claims before, and I know I've talked about this briefly in my CrowdStrike video, and in the other videos too, but do I need an antivirus? Do you need an antivirus? Who needs an antivirus? All of that is what I'm going to be talking about today. So, uh, first things first, I want to start off with um, who doesn't need an antivirus. So let's say you're just a person who knows what they're doing on their computer, knows how the system functions, knows what type of websites they're visiting, knows how to do remediation in terms of uh, any type of protection that has to be done to ensure that there will be no malware or malicious behavior done to their system, and a person that is testing in a safe environment, knows what they're doing, and has a certain type of knowledge to know what they can do and what they cannot do. Uh, and that is pretty much who should not or does not have to use an antivirus, but hear me out. In some cases, it is quite a winning play to have an antivirus, and you know why? Well, like this person said, and I'm going to open this notepad once again, or like the note once again, uh, and I'm going to highlight one important factor here and the important factor is all the way in the bottom exactly if you're working very quickly if you are busy if you're a busy person don't have the time to focus don't have the time to scan don't have the time to do, set up an isolated environment if you don't have time or patience for that stuff and you if you're like overworked and do all the time do stuff all the time then this is not possible and in that case, you should definitely use an antivirus because you will not have time to react if something bad happens or you will not realize something bad happens because you were in a rush. So, yeah, if you have an antivirus I, in this type of situation, again, yes, it would stop the threat. If you don't, if you wouldn't have an antivirus, you just wouldn't stop it. So, yeah, uh, this is one case scenario where you should definitely have an antivirus. About other things, uh, ignorant people, definitely. Definitely, in terms of ignorant people, you should they should have an antivirus. We're talking about like elderly, less tech-savvy, people that are not into technology, just trying to use that stuff for work, isolated environments, all types of stuff, even companies, because, yeah, they are constantly getting a lot of malicious email, malicious uh, attachments, all type of stuff. So, yeah. In my opinion, honestly, if you are in an environment or like no users that are like weak in terms of knowledge on cybersecurity and malware and phishing and stuff like that, you should definitely advise them to use an antivirus. And yes, uh, if you call this an age of malware, I think you're pretty much right. And uh, if someone is telling you to not use an antivirus, then that is uh, not the right term they should be using for one they do not know what type of environment you work in well you could be in a business you can be in an enterprise having connections with your main like you know main company that you uh have credentials on all side or all sorts of stuff and if you don't have that protected with some type of antivirus the whole company could be at risk so yes absolutely you you do not like just tell every single person to stop using an antivirus just left and right However, if you are a tech-savvy person, if you know what you're doing, if you're somehow knowledgeable about this type of stuff, then yes, you don't need an antivirus to slow down your process or anything like that. And yes, I feel bad for people that are pressured in any way by people to when they tell them to uh, not use an antivirus <clears throat> because, again, they're not familiar with the type of environment they are working, type of environment they have available, what they are doing, and what type of things or sensitive data they have in their systems. So I don't think telling someone to stop using an antivirus is is a good thing to do because, again, you're unfamiliar with another person's habits and their behavior. And then we have uh, another thing, which is them claiming that all internet security solutions are worthless against zero-day attacks. Now, I'm going to stop you right there. Uh, if zero-day attacks happen and you have an antivirus, at least some type of protection that is advanced, is up-to-date, and is well-known to be able to stop the zero-day attacks, then I don't think how they would be worthless. Again, 
I guess some of them, if you don't use them properly, if you are doing this on purpose, if you're trying to get infected, then yeah, you're gonna eventually stumble upon something that's going to bypass the antivirus. And yeah, as long as you have a decent uh, anti-malware solution, I feel like you're completely fine against all types of attacks, unless there's something advanced that can bypass antivirus, which I have seen before. And I have to uh, warn you all about these type of things because yes, there is a bunch of things that, that these uh, malware pieces of malware do. Like, you know, pumped file size to make them seem bigger, avoid detection, avoid scanning because antiviruses are made the way so that they won't scan any file over like 600 megabytes, 700 megabytes. So if you just pump a virus to like, I don't know, a gigabyte, or like 750 megabytes like they normally do at the setup.exe um yeah which is normally an info stealer which yeah only is uh, pumped to oblivion which means just adding a bunch of zeros like when you deobfuscate or use a uh, decompiler you're going to realize that it's all just zeros and there's a bit of code like i was i was dealing with like a few days ago i was dealing with a executable or an installer that was 800 megabytes and then I put it in a decompiling software, and then it just... There was like a couple of hundreds of rows of code, but as soon as I went past that, it was just... I think like everything else was just zeros. But the zeros, however, were not added after the whole code, they were added in between the code. Which meant that I had to uh, delete all of the zeros, all of the matching rows and stuff like that. So after I did that and eliminated all of the zeros out of the equation, which is, which ended up being like 700 plus megabytes, I was left with 2.3 megabyte file, which was the actual payload. And my Windows Defender also went off because it realized that now the file is big enough to scan. It's not like a crazy size. The file is now uh, completely readable and there was nothing wrong with it anymore. It was not, it was de deciphered almost. And uh, Windows Defender managed to pick it up instantly. As soon as I hit save, it popped up with a virus detected. So yeah, Windows Defender, I think if you are using an antivirus, Windows Defender, definitely, definitely a best thing to have because you are <clears throat> not wasting unnecessary resources with, uh, with another antivirus, which um, you would normally because, you know, updates, scans, they slow down your computer. That is a thing. And yeah, why an antivirus does nothing for you. Um, in terms of this statement, again, it's not fair to judge someone else's system, someone else's environment if you don't know how they're like. So yeah, if you have any other questions, I might do a Q&A. But other than that, in terms of this, I do not think antiviruses are useless. I think they're pretty important if you're dealing with like stressful situations, if you're in a rush, if you accidentally click something wrong, you're not going to have a system destroyed or, or like data stolen or anything like that. So yeah, that is my honest take. Thank you all for watching and I see you guys in the next video.